everybody. Great to see you again. How are you today? I believe you're fine. We should have a great time ahead. And let's go on talking today about the verb to be and about its usage in the present simple, past simple, and future simple tenses. But let's talk about negations. Let's talk about negative forms. In our previous lesson, we have been talking about statements. Let's talk today about negations. Let's go. So, what a negation is? Huh? Negation is a simple word, not, that is used in the statements. Let's see how does it work with the verb to be in present, past, and future tenses. So, we already know that the verb to be in the present tense changes into three forms, am, is, and are. We already made a sentence, I am honest. How to make it negative? We have this little not. Let's put it after the verb to be. I am not honest. So, to make negative sentence with the verb to be in the present tense, we need only to put not after the verb to be. Let's make few examples again. I am not a student. He is not a worker. We are not sad. Let's talk about the verb to be. Let's talk about past simple and let's make a negative sentence. We already know that the verb to be in the past tense has only two forms. Was for singular, I, he, she, it, everybody, were for plural, we, you, they. Let's make negative sentences. For example, I was not there or I wasn't there. <laughs> he was not fair or he wasn't fair. Right? Let's talk about future simple tense about the verb to be and let's make negative sentences. Let's make some negations. We know that the verb to be in the future tense has only one form. This is a great news. And it is will be. Absolutely right. Let's make few examples. I will not be there. Or I won't be there. He will not be ill. Or he won't be ill. We will not be sad. Or we won't be sad. Great. So this was about negations, how to make negative form of the verb to be in the present, past, and future tense. If you have some questions, please feel free to contact me. You can write down a few examples below this video for us to chat. If you have any questions, don't worry, everything is great. Next time, we will talk about questions with the verb to be. Until next time, have a great time, happy weekend, see you all, bye-bye.